I said once somewhere that given enough time, it will sculpt itself. A little bit like how you make a philosopher's stone. You know, where they put it in a river, come back in 50 years and turn it. That's what I mean by time. It, it, it's spending, allowing time to show the way to the decision making. You don't know what you're doing when you're working. I think people think that's an idea that you follow through on, you know, but it isn't. It's more direction that you go. And then I start chasing the sculpture, you know, and trying to wrestle it into existence. I spent years looking at aspects of the surface, like the relationship of a toenail to a lip to an eye. I asked my wife, Sylvia Gaspardo Moro, once, I said, do you think anyone's even going to see these or notice these subtle relationships? Am I just getting, like, way too subtle? And she said, no, nobody will see them, but the meaning is in the subtleties and the details. I'm looking for grace in a way. I'm looking for, whoa, the fact that it works shouldn't be something that you even think about. Good work or great art, it's anonymous. It joins the kind of authorship of an age, of a time. Everything I've said is going to be washed away and what's going to be left is the art part.